Because we're so close to the election, we haven't heard much recently uh, about the Russia investigation. But uh, yesterday we learned that Robert Mueller's office has alerted the FBI after women came forward to say someone offered her about $20,000 to accuse Mueller of sexual misconduct and harassment. It turns out at least two women have been given this offer, and they say it's total crap. So someone is trying to frame Robert Mueller. And not the way I thought, where he reveals the president's ties to Russia, and then we hang Mueller's picture in every home in America. <laughs> I mean, lovely frame. Put that over here. I mean, if you're going to pay women to lie, the charges have to pass the smell test. Mueller is so famously a straight shooter, his birthday suit is a suit. A wild night for Mueller is having coffee after 5 p.m. <laughs> Honey, I hope you can forgive me. It was half-calf. Don't look at me. <laughs> ah. So, that's my Robert Mueller impression, by the way. Because I've never heard the man talk. So, who is dumb enough to think they're smart enough to pull this off? The master, let's say, mind of this scheme is 20-year-old Twitter troll Jacob Wall, seen here cosplaying as American Psycho. <laughs> Donald Trump uh, has retweeted Wall multiple times, and here they are, both wishing Wall was Don Jr. But <laughs> what makes us suspect, what makes us suspect that it was Jacob Wall? Why is it him who tried to bribe these women to lie? Why do we think it's him? Well, for starters, he's a writer for Gateway Pundit who broke the story yesterday by posting this heavily redacted document accusing Mueller of sexual assault. Those documents led back to a mysterious firm called Surefire Intelligence. <laughs> That really sounds like a made-up company. It actually, it actually sounds sarcastic. No doubt they partnered with the researchers over at Way to Go Einstein Labs. <laughs> now, Wall has denied any link to Surefire Intelligence, which is reasonable because Surefire is actually run by a guy named Matthew Cohen. Totally different guy. Here's Jacob Wall. Here's Matthew Cohen. <laughs> So, one of them is lying, and it's both of him. <laughs> How dumb do you have to be to use your own photo in a con game against the former head of the FBI? I'm beginning to think he didn't think this one through. <laughs> it's like Superman donning the cape, but leaving the glasses on. <laughs> Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's... <laughs> it's Clark Kent. What are you doing up there, Clark? <laughs> oh, you're Superman! Get down here. Plus, the domain name uh, for Surefire's website is registered under Wall's email address. <laughs> so he used a fake name, but his own email address. <laughs> you know what they call that? Surefire Intelligence. <laughs> And when reporters tried to call one of the phone numbers listed on Surefire Intelligence website, it directed them to Wall's mother's voicemail. <laughs> yeah. His mom's phone. That explains the outgoing message. Hello, you've reached the Wall residence. Mom, you're supposed to say Surefire Intelligence. I hate you. Watch your tone of voice, young man. And... Jacob's colleagues at Surefire are really quite impressive. You look at the website, for instance, staffers include headshots for supermodel Bar Raffaelli and actor Christoph Waltz. And if you think that's impressive, you should see their staff photo. <laughs> and despite the story completely falling apart and the FBI breathing down their necks, it's still being pushed by Wall's accomplice, right-wing lobbyist and guy named Ray who quit smoking with Chantix, Jack Berkman. Berkman. Berkman still claims that this Thursday he will reveal the first of Mueller's victims at a press conference at what time? High noon. Yes, high noon. Because if you believe any part of this story, I'm guessing you're high by noon. We got a great show for you tonight. <laughs>